Who in here considers themselves a foodie? Okay, well, you guys might want to leave for the next five minutes. There's a lot of people out there that are afraid of zombies, okay? No, I'm not gonna compare foodies to zombies, okay? Foodies are people too. I'm not afraid of zombies though. Foodies kind of freak me out a little bit. My name is Jay Thompson and I'm a fast food addict. I started working at McDonald's the day I turned 16 years old. And I've eaten at McDonald's at least once a week ever since. Tons of Big Macs, tons of calories, and tons of perfloral alcohols. What? That's the stuff that they put in fast food wrappers that repels grease. And it's been scientifically proven to soak into the food. And it's delicious. <laughs> now, I, believe me, I understand that fast food is not good for you, okay? It's not healthy, it makes our kids fat, blah, blah, blah. But I'm gonna try to tell you a few good things about fast food. It's cheap and it's fast, obviously, and it's economical. This, this is not fast food. These, this is a wonderful meal of scallops that I had at some five-star restaurant that's lauded by the foodies. You know what this cost me? 32 bucks. <laughs> Do you know what you can get for $32 off a dollar menu at McDonald's? 32 things that'll feed 10, 20, 25 people and fill them up, okay? Fast food's cheap. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> this looks like something that my dog might have thrown up. The stuff on top is truffles. Truffles, all truffles is is foodie speak for fungus, okay? <laughs> now, here's the deal with fast food. I enjoy a good meal, obviously, but you can't have scallops and you can't have fungus. You can't get it quick. You can't get it efficiently. You can go to a Jack in a Box, a McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, be in and out in five minutes. You don't even have to get out of your car. It's extremely convenient. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the other thing about fast food is, let's say it's late at night, it's two in the morning, you've been out drinking a little bit, you need a little sustenance, okay? You've been there. You're not getting scallops at two o'clock in the morning. You're going to Jack in the Box and getting tacos, two for a dollar. That's what you're getting. Now, the other thing about fast food is it's consistent. I have eaten at McDonald's literally all over the planet, several countries in Europe, Japan, even China. Consistency is king. A Big Mac tastes just like it does in Tokyo, Japan, or in Gilbert, Arizona. It's a beautiful thing. I spent two weeks in China, and that's, it was a great trip. It's a wonderful country. The culture is amazing. The people are amazing. But believe me, after two weeks in China, you're gonna want a hamburger, okay? <laughs> the food is great, but you want a burger and some fries and a stinking apple pie. You're not gonna get that at a five-star restaurant, folks. Those places change their menu every week. Fast food is the answer to consistency. Now, somebody out there is going, Jay, come on, it's boring. You need to expand your life, enjoy new horizons, check out new cuisines, explore. You can do that with fast food. <laughs> Seriously. This, uh, this, is, this is poutine. This is, uh, yeah, you know poutine? Good stuff. French fries, cheese curds, smothered in brown gravy. I got it at Quebec City in Canada. It is, uh, it's nirvana. I don't know any other way to describe it. Okay? There's other things that you can get fast food. It's not just burgers. You want a little taste of Italy? Grab a piece of pizza. Okay? It's all out there. There's, um, you can go to Whole Foods, which is a fast foodie mecca, people, and you can buy takeout sushi. Okay, that's fast food. And if you don't like it, make your own fast food. <laughs> I twit picked this out. This was breakfast one morning. I sent out a twit pick, and a friend of mine who is a devout foodie calls me up and she says, Jay, you can't eat that for breakfast. Why not? It's delicious. Real quick, let's talk about the economics. Yeah, that's my teenage son who's someone back there. He ate my Girl Scout cookies. But Girl Scouts couldn't exist if they didn't sell cookies, okay? And cookies are fast food. Uh, the other day, two weeks ago, McDonald's had a national hiring day. They hired 56,000 people in one day. That's 56,000 jobs that didn't exist the day before. That's a huge impact to the economy. Yeah, the jobs are for teenagers, the pay sucks and everything like that. 
But I would rather have those kids flipping burgers than out in the streets selling crack cocaine, okay? So it keeps the streets safe. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you tonight with these uh, websites. There's some great information on these sites. You can compare fast food. It may not be as bad as you thought. Thank you.